Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Today we'll be doing problem 21 out of the form E pack for the CUNY final examination. All right. So here we're, what we're asking is which of the following is the graph of the equation of 5x plus 3y's equal negative 15? Now here I didn't show the selection options for the, the answers of this problem because I'm going to build it from the ground up. And what we're going to do to solve the problem is find the x and y intercept. Plot the x and y intercept on the x and y plane here. And once we find the x and y intercepts, we can easily see which is the correct solution. All right? So our first step here is to find the x-intercept. So to find the x-intercept, what I want to do is substitute the value 0 for x. And here's my table for intercepts. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place a 0 for the x, right? The solution when I substitute x in as 0 will be my y value for the coordinate that it creates. So here I'm taking the equation and I'm substituting a 0 for x. Here these are going to cancel out to 0, and I get 3y's equal negative 15. I divide both sides by 3, and I solve for my y, which is negative 5. When x is 0, y is negative 5. There's my first coordinate. Now let's plot this point while we got it, right? So my x value is 0. Here's my x value, the x-axis line. And my x value is going to be at 0. So I'm starting at the middle, and then I'm dropping it 5 units down for the y value. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Here's our first coordinate. Let's get our second coordinate now. The second intercept is going to be when y equals 0. Right? So we're taking the same equation and we're substituting a 0 for y. So we have 5x's plus 3 times 0 equals negative 15. And here my 3 is going to go away with the 0. And I have 5x's are equivalent to negative 15. The next step now, divide by 5 to both sides. And here we get 5, 5. This goes away. And my x value equals negative 3. So when my y value equals 0, my x value equals negative 3. I put that into this little box, and I get my second coordinate. Now this time, my x value is negative 3. So we're going to move over 3 units from the origin, which leaves us here. And we're going to move up no units for the y. So it's going to stay right here. And here's our second point. Now our correct graph out of all our selections are going to have the graph of the line. Well, this is not even. That goes down this way. And there's our graph of the line. 